Good morning, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for July 29, 2014, 9.31 in Bellica. This blog is a continuation of Boston Independent Television Station, WQTV 68 in Boston. Now it's going to go into the WABU era of Channel 68 in Boston. In the fall of 1993, WQTV 68's owners, the Christian Science Monitor, sold to Boston University and it rebranded as WABU Ch Channel 68 in Boston. By January of 1994, new syndicated rerun programming was on WABU TV 68, like I Love Lucy, WKRP in Cincinnati, Madlock, In the Heat of the Night, Magnum P.I., Simon and Simon, The Golden Girls, Mama's Family, The Love Boat, Remington Steel, New Heart, Quincy, Heart to Heart, and a lot of other programmings, and even w WABU actually carried CBS This Morning, which was preempted from Channel 7 WHDH, which was a CBS station in Boston at that time. WHDH showed four hours of news from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. And that was uh, last into um, WABU aired CBS this morning for nine months until the affiliation station switched in Boston from WHDH to WBZ. And this is also when around the time, around April of 1994, where WABU TV 68 started having two minute news breaks f during the programming f that started at roughly around noon time to 11 p.m. weekdays. And the principal anchors reading the news were like Ted O'Brien, who worked in Boston for many years on WRKO AM 680, and also Dolores Handy, who worked for like um, 90.9 WBOR public radio in Boston, but they weren't shown at the same time. They were like shown at, like, usually Ted did a few hours and Dolores did a few hours, and once in a while they're having other anchors like Tim Estilo subbing in and Christian Daly subbing in, and was pretty good. By the fall of 1994, WABU started local programming. The first local programming they had was Adler Online. It was Charles Adler, who was like a political commentator and he was this was one of the first programs he got interaction from the internet the computer which was you know starting to be a it was the infancy of like communication through the computer it was a good show and then there was a news program consider this which talked about daily subjects hosted by Ted O'Brien and Dolores Handy there was another one called ECU it was an in interview show hosted by Gail Hallis. Also, there was other ones like Business World with Jim Howell, Doctors on Call, and The Job Show, among others. And in the fall of 1994, WABU bought a WCVX Channel 58 and a Cape Cod to expand their reach, and it was rebranded as WZBU TV 50, 58. Also around the fall of 1994, um, WABU started carrying some select Boston University men's hockey games. And on the call for the first year doing a play-by-play -play was Dale Arnold and, and his color man was BU, former BU player and 1980 U.S. men's Olympic hockey captain Michael Uzi. Illusioni, Dale Arnold lasted one year as play-by-play -play announcer, then he started doing the Bruins game, so he was replaced by Doug Brown. And also, in, by 1995, like, WABU was adding more good syndicated programming, so they got the rights to run Bay Baywatch and a few other shows. And uh, this is in September 1995, W. ABU bought WNHT Channel 21, which had, had been dormanted since 1989, and then they rebranded it as WNBU TV 21, and WABU was expanding it, 
they had, like leeches in New Hampshire and Maine and Vermont. And in 1996, WABU became the over the year broadcast rights to the Boston Red Sox games. They broadcast about 75 Boston Red Sox games from 1996 through 1998 each year. About 75 games. Sean McDonough and Jerry Remy called the games. And also before the show, they had a Red Sox pregame show hosted by Doug Brown for three years. Around 1996, fall of 96, WABU carried the first season of the syndicated courtroom reality show, Judge Judy. And it lasted one year until I moved to WSBK TV 38. And also around January 1997, at 10 p.m. at night, WABU has a sports show, which lasted an hour, called Sports Night, hosted by Butch Stearns. That's how, that was Butch's first big television job in Boston. And also, like, for four years, um, WABU 68 carried um, the Boston University graduation ceremony, commencement ceremony. Around 1998 or so, um, Boston University was losing money on running WABU and they were putting up for sale, and many of the programmings would be dis disappearing. They did not renew the contract with the Red Sox after the 1998 season, and some po they had some other sports programmings. They maybe had um first two seasons of New England Revolution soccer when they first started, and also they carried the bean pot for about four years. In 1999, they signed a contract to carry Boston Celtics games for th three years, the road games, and Tommy Heinsohn and Bob Cousy were calling the action. Also, the, the, the voiceover for WABU for, during this period was longtime WCVB News, Channel 5 News reporter Jack Harper, and towards the end of WABU's existence, they had the the film vault, the film loft, own, and it was da Dana Hurst, the own, um, like hosted the film vault, I mean, loft, because I couldn't use movie loft because it was the rights were owned by WSBK TV 38. And in, in the spring of 1999, WABU TV 68 was sold by Bud Paxson. And Bud Paxson owned uh, Pax Network, so. By the summer of 1999, all most of the programming was changed from from like syndicated program to stuff on Bud Paxton's Pax Network, and the call letters were changed from WABU to WBP BXP, and now it's now it's like W um, Channel 68 Boston's now. Part of the IR network after they go went through a lot of changes, like it went from um, PAX to I Independent TV or the I Network and I on Television Network. So many changes. The six years of um, Boston University owning Channel 68 in Boston were very, very interesting, and, and it was pretty good that they did a lot of local stuff and and shows and had the chance for Red Sox games and stuff. They were pretty innovating, but it, the whole deal, they lost a lot of money and they just wanted to get, get out of it when the time was right. The economy was very, very good back in the 90s, the mid to late 90s, and it was a very good good thing they did with all the local programming, but I think maybe WABU lost a lot of money by carrying the Red Sox and some of the sporting events they had because cost so much money to carry the sporting events for the advertising plus you have to pl pay the announcers so that I think they lost a lot of money on that and and stuff like that but you know they were trying and they had some good programming I think they were trying to be the the only true independent television station left in Boston because WSBK um, became EPN WLVI became 
WB then CW and that was it but I give it a good shot and it was great it's too bad they do not have too many independent stations now two two good ones that don't carry a lot of paid programming or religious programming and stuff like that and that's about it for what I gotta say I'll be back later on today with another one of these video blogs you're gonna get an extra one today because this is a kind of a two part so it gets counts so you'll be getting four video blogs from me today see you later Facebook friends and YouTube followers goodbye